Most people tend to think of relationship as in a very personal way, like, okay, I'm, they, they date, well, I like this about him, and I like, didn't like this about her, and almost like they're shopping for groceries. Um, people date and they shop for partners, very much like they're shopping, they squeeze the merchandise and they, they open it up, take the plastic off and sniff it a bit, and you know, the, people are like this, as if they control the relationships they're going to get into and not, and, and they want to find a good partner that's compatible and everything. That's not how the Holy Spirit works. The Holy Spirit wants every encounter to be used for watch your mind, notice your thoughts, notice what's going on inside your own mind, always, because really, remember, there's only one of us, there's only one mind, and that mind has to be given over for purification. It's not like all these personalities, and likes attract, and opposites attract, and all these things, and checking things out, it's actually giving it all over to the Holy Spirit and saying, I, I'm willing to go through whatever is needed, but I, I need to go through a purification. I went from being very shy, very introverted, antisocial, loner, to basically traveling around the world and meeting thousands and thousands upon thousands of brothers and sisters in gatherings like we're having right now, devoted to a single purpose. Well, that'll light you up. If you give yourself over so fully to a new purpose, which is not based on past associations, preferences, uh, trying to fulfill a need, uh, trying to fulfill a hole that's lacking, all the ego purposes for entering into an interpersonal relationship, this is much broader because it's like you're not really here to try to continue on with the ego's selective perception of pick and choose, but basically you're here to, to fan that vibrational connection you have with God. If you have a flame in your heart, it doesn't matter if it's just a flicker, but if you keep fanning that and going with that flicker, with that spark in your heart, then it will transform your whole perception of everything. Like, for example, let's take some contrast. Like in the old days, it was like, oh, you get to a certain phase of your life and you're ready, maybe you think you'll go on some dates. And it's whether they're blind dates or whether you're just going on some dating, you know, you have like a dating phase and maybe you, there's a little flirting and then a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and sometimes you decide to give it a go. Back in the old days, people would get married, nowadays, you know, maybe they decide to move in and live together, whatever, you go through these different things. But oftentimes what I hear from people is, they go, well, I've been married to the same person for all these years, but we, we don't think alike, we don't like the same things, we're not valued, we don't have a spark. I'm like, and what are you doing in the relationship? What, where's the inspiration? If there's no inspiration, if you're, if you're not having a spark, then you really have to take a look at, at what the purpose is for your relationships. If you feel like you're, you're completely shut off from the world, or you're involved in relationships that are draining you, that are chipping away at you, that feel like they're helping you put one foot in the grave faster than you had anticipated, that's not good. Uh, you need to be inspired. You should be going lighter and lighter and lighter and happier and happier as you give yourself over to the Holy Spirit's purpose. I think of this old way of dating and uh, it was some years ago where I, I heard somebody say, well, we, they've developed speed dating. I said, speed dating? What's speed dating? Well, you go to a restaurant and, you know, you have like three hours and you have, like every ten minutes you shift and you go on a new date. That's new. <laughs> that blows my ideas of dating out of the water. Speed dating. They say, yeah, you, you can get like maybe five or six uh, dates per hour, and then you go for three hours, and you come back the next week, and you speed date again. Wow, that's interesting. It's interesting when they talk to the people who went speed dating. They say, well, I felt a connection here, and I felt a connection there, and they would talk more about their vibrational connections. You know? Isn't that interesting? Uh, with, with the topic we're talking about, relationships, where do you feel the vibrational connection? 
Where is there a draw? Where is there where you feel like there's an intuitive guidance prompting you into something? And maybe after one night, after you've had like maybe 18 dates, you go home and you go, huh, oh, that was interesting. What was, what was, what drew me about this whole night? What kind of things were they talking about or I was talking about where I felt some excitement and some joy? You know, most people are not thinking in terms of vibrational connection, they're sticking it out. Almost like they're going to get a bounty point or bonus points when they go to the Angel Michael. Oh yeah, I was in the relationship for 45 years. Michael, Angel Michael, what was the quality of your relationship? Quality? I just told you, 45 years. What are you talking about? Quality? Yeah, I want to know the quality. What, was there authentic love there? Was, there? was there a depth? Were you expanding in your partnership? Expanding? Hell, I was trying to make it through the 45 years that you're talking about expanding. Listen, this is all about expanding perception. It's, remember back in the 60s, the days of the 60s, like raise your consciousness, higher consciousness? Things haven't changed. It's still about higher consciousness, it's about higher awareness. If you're stuck and you feel like you're dragging through the same old, same old, get your hula hoop out of your closet and get out there and start hula hooping. Put on your grass skirt and do some dancing. Come on now, if you guys are bored in your relationships and you feel like it's a war zone where you're throwing a grenade over and then you throw one back and, and you're like nipping at each other and there's little snide remarks and everything like this, get out! You know, you've, you've got to get out of your perception of the relationships because these relationships, under, and remember the Holy Spirit's the only one who uses them. You don't have, you can't use them. But the Holy Spirit's the only one that can use them and He only uses it to expand your perception to reach the atonement, to reach the ex most expanded perception, the final illusion before God takes the final step and lifts you back to heaven.